Hey, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I am really excited to play this game again. Oh my gosh, the frames are so bad. What's going on? Okay, that's better. So, uh, we're going to try to get this little fragment right here. Got it. Alright, uh, so now we're going to go to that uh, waypoint. We're going to be going to restricted area, as it seems. Um, oh yeah, we're going to be meeting the governor. I had totally forgot about that. Uh, actually, can we go ahead and buy weapons? Like, better weapons? They're pretty cool. They're very handy. Uh, we don't have enough, do we? Yeah, we don't have enough. Dang. Um. Huh. Okay. Okay, we can't really buy any pistols. I don't even have any pistols right now. Smoke bombs? Eh. Well, might as well buy all the smoke bombs. Pieces of art? We're not going to be worrying about that. Remember when we... How to get the pieces of art on Assassin's Creed 2. Oh well, um, we'll get we'll get more money. Actually, there's a chest up here. I'll be uh one way to get our money. Alright, 205 and plus whatever. Um, so yeah, that's going to be another way we're going to be getting a lot of our money. Is uh, going and getting all the chests. That's going to be something that we have to do to get 100% completion in this game. There is a Shanti up here. I'm going to try to get. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey, I got it. Let's go. Alright, that's our first Shanti that we got. So that's very nice. Oh, do we? Captain, Jack thanks your hearty. Alright, we got some money for that too. We'll look out for our pharaoh, pharaoh. Our fellow pirates. Can we? Yeah, we can loot him. I don't know who this guy is. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought the bodies had disappeared. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. All right, here we go. Here we go. They are impersonating a Duncan Walpole. Ese they do not know. El, ¿Cómo lo llamabas? Asesino. Si, sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos franceses y franceses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más respetable. 
Lleva meses en alta mar. Seguimos con él. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Gus Walpole? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julien Ducas, <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. All right, we're going to do some pistol trains. Be an introduction You've to you. You've got my two best shooting. pairs of match pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried okay. nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. Oops. Quite. Wait, did we miss that? Okay, I think we got it. Yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Huckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique! Challenge. Right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Oh, okay. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Oh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Day, Duncan. I'll challenge him again. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Reload. Come on. We got it, we got it. Yes. Yeah. That's one way to like click like quickly shoot. You just press Y. Um one good way to uh attack your target with a gun is to aim for the head, obviously. Oop, I didn't mean to shoot. Blades. I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <clears throat> We now have our uh, wrist blades. Two blades, as is the custom, we. Eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, I uh, surely can. We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. 
Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. Yeah. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? I'm trying to. God, that's the spirit! Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. <laughs> God blindly, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating. All right, and that was a little demonstration of uh, how to do, how to perform some of these uh, assassination tactics with your hidden blade. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See, you were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir, I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. We played that very well. The most powerful weapon Indeed is your mouth. Last, and in such continental company, England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cooled. 
to guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. The Father of Understanding. I just find that so weird because, like, you, you're you always known to uh, be against Templars. You hate Templars. You kill them. Um, you do everything against them. And it's just like, now we're, like, shifting over, like, okay, now we're Templars. You know, screw the assassins. <laughs> So, the council entrusted me with the know. task of locating in these west. It just feels kind of weird. A forgotten place our precursors once called the observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory. A place rumored to contain a tool of Wait, we have the option to steal. Power. That because we're close to that guy? Our military yeah. sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on. There was a thing. Progress tracker. A uh, pickpocket, all Templars. Oh. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory. Yeah, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is the one man who does. A man named Roberts. What's right, we called did it. A sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Yeah, 100% memory sank. Very nice to see, very nice, very nice. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, <clears throat> your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Well, dear. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Thank you for doing us again. Catch and loot the courier. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on, I hear a chest. I get that later. It's him! He's a killer! A pirate! Where would he go? Oh, he killed himself. Okay, so we have 6,000 reals. I'm going to go ahead and get this chest real quick since we're literally right here. Oh, like 
All right, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, now we have pistols. Pistols are going to be amazing. Um, let's see, which one was like the best one you can get? Was it that one, the Spanish officer pistol? Oh no, cannon barrel pistol. All right, right now we have the flint lock. Look at the swords. Uh, which one was really good? Was it? Oh, it was this one, yeah. All right, um, that is going to be a lot of money we have to save up. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, I guess we won't really mess with that right now. We won't mess with getting any upgrades for pistols and swords. Uh, that's going to be a big investment. Yeah, I forgot we can sell our stuff. And then once we start uh, pirating, we'll be able to sell a lot of goods. I know there's like a glitch that you can do um, and have like infinite supplies, but I don't know. It just kind of like, I don't know. It just feels like it's kind of ruining the game. You're just like finding ways to exploit the game. So like whenever you're supposed to be like doing the work of like being a pirate. Yeah, I got it. Oh, free pirates. Very smooth. Holy cow. From the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hearty. All right, very cool, very cool. We were able to free some pirates. Get some money out of it. And a chest right here. Four out of 20 chests in Havana. So that's gonna be like not really a lot to get from here. Like, you don't have to do as much. Now to go to our waypoint. Every real is going to count because it is going to be all spent on upgrading a lot of stuff. A lot of upgrades for Edward and a lot of upgrades for the Jackdaw, which we will get to hopefully shortly. I want to be a pirate. I want to do pirate stuff. I want to sink ships. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Uh oh. <clears throat> I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. I wonder why they sought him. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. 
One of your early oh, that was whoa! Did you just see that? The Mayan mentor Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I, I was not. No, too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye, that's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is off. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Uh -oh. Assassins! Above! They're on the rooftop! I want to switch back to my swords. Come on. back here you're a nimble one I'll give you that hang back and make this easy on both of us mate Wait, we didn't lose them? Oh man. Oh no, we didn't want to kill him. Okay, I don't think I killed him. I just saw that he snapped his well neck. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. Oh man, we didn't get a uh, hundred percent sink, but that is okay. Ooh, a thousand. All right, and this is Havana.
I know I'm kind of going through the uh, the story a bit, um, and not doing like all these viewpoints and chests and all that stuff like how I would in uh, Assassin's Creed 2. But I kind of just want to do like the story real quick. I mean, I will like every now and then go and uh, do some stories or not stories, uh, little side things like this. I'm about to go get a chest. But, uh, I do want to go through this, uh, story just a little bit, just like in the beginning. Uh, so, because I really, really want to get the jackdaw. God sink me for this pittance. <laughs> Just one thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most. How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? It became nighttime. Have you ever um you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor was going on about. He said it were like a device. I could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. But imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate... ...privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to in private. <laughs> oh, a <well>, bonnet. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to be sneaky about this. Let's go ahead and equip our hidden blades. Alright, we're not gonna really mess up with the people up front. Uh, we might try to get this guy real quick. for this guy to come up i just want to get like few guards uh out here <laughs> whoa we just like used the force to grab him yes i know about the whistling wait we did that the first 
Ooh, hello. So we have to go up these stairs. Oop, I don't want to climb. Try our hardest to stay out of combat. Uh, so we can whistle this guy over here. I don't know if he's too far or not. I kind of feel like I need to take care of that guard, but I can't be in common. There's too many guards around here. He probably won't be much of a bother. Hey, oh. That was way too close. I don't see another bush anywhere. Alto, quiero hablar contigo. Acabarás fácilmente. Vuelve aquí, necio sordo. Eh, tú, detente. Acabaré contigo. Did that count as me being in combat? some dead guards. Uh-oh. Basta ya. Uh -oh. 
so. What is your true name, Rogue? It's her. Captain Pissoff. Rien que pauvre Pissoff. Where is the sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Walpole. It didn't count. Or it did count as me being in combat, but that sucks. Um, I'm not gonna replay that. Like, it's not much of a like necessity. <laughs> a despicable display. This tusk part is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father. Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. Oh, this is gray. I guess life is gray. Oh. This is where we meet our friend. You hungry? <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Now, what's your right. plan, mate? Ooh. Unlucky lad. Christ, the seas are uneasy today. Hurricane coming. Hurricane. Jesus. Ooh, look at all that gold. All right, well, we're Steve getting my stuff Greece. back. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. And there's our introduction to armor. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. Yes, sir. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee in. Aye, there's a brig in this fleet. I'll make my way to you. I like that he automatically used the hidden blades uh, without us having to equip it. Like that's that's a very nice touch that they did. 
Because if it would be like in Assassin's Creed, if we had the sword equipped, we would just be using the sword instead of the uh, hidden blade whenever it would be useful. So that's really that's a really nice thing they did. If you loot the brutes, you should be getting like uh ammo. Yeah, so I wait bullets, smoke bombs. Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. Whoa, that was awesome. I don't remember a lot of this combat, uh, these combat moves, but yeah, that was a really, they like, in the, co the combat in this game, they just perfected it. It is amazing. I will absolutely love the combat in this game. They did such a great job a with this. Nearby, just waiting for us to take her. That's probably why uh, Assassin's Creed 4 is like one of the most uh, amazing Assassin's Creed games, because they really, it felt like they... I actually put like heart into it. Nice swing, holy cow. Alto ahí. Alto. Quiero que la tumba. Deja 
de retorcerte, pirata. We're going topside. Be ready. Board, lads. Save your singing for Davy Jones and Jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks true. You lot weigh anger. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half at the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Awesome. Keep watch on those galleons. See they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too slow for this weather. Rogue waves. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna be something we're gonna have to watch out for. crazy how the world can do this kind of stuff. Oh wow, there's many of them. Water spot, man. Stay away. It's not looking good. Stay as she goes, man. Oh no, no, no. I'm trying so hard, oh my gosh. We are tilting so hard. We're about to fall over. Oh no. Almost there. It's 400 meters. Oh gosh, there's another one. Oh, okay. It's just gone now. Now it's just the calm after the storm. Jeez. 
Oh, by God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. Ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! We're taking this one home! And there we do. Oh gosh. Our sails are messed up. Go guards from behind corners. Oh dang, we didn't do that. But, yes, now we have our ship. We have what is going to be called the Jackdaw. They're pretty. I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, that shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. All right, it's just going. Uh, so now what we're going to be doing is uh, in the hold earlier. powder and a few pistols. I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> I'm talking about. It's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of lint stocks heaped like tinder, and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons. They might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaws. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. Okay, um, so now this is going to just give us uh, some stuff like, hey, here's what you can do now. Uh, actually, hold on, we could turn around. Or get this out. Let's go ahead and get it. this guy. Turn around and go to this island and get that little fragment. Uh, but yeah, just some, some, just some extra stuff we can do, um, on the seas. Like, we can go hunting for, like, whales or something. Uh, later on we'll be able to... Raise the meal, the wheel, not the meal. Uh, we'll be able to do something with a bell, like this giant bell that you get in, so you can go deep underwater. Cause there's gonna be some underwater stuff we're gonna have to do. I'm so used to Sea of Thieves where you would just get in the cannon and shoot yourself over to the island. It's pretty water. This game, I will say, this game is very, very pretty for it being on uh, low quality graphics. Cause like, I would love 
absolutely love to run this game at very high graphics, but my computer cannot handle it, unfortunately. But here soon, I will be getting a new computer. Hopefully. If all goes right, I'll be getting a new computer. And that way, I'll be able to run games a lot better and play newer games. I just say to shoot an iguana. Okay. Okay, where's an ocelot? Oh, there's one. Get this chest real quick. Where's oh? Cheats. Uh, cheats allow you to replay missions without interesting modifiers, or with interesting modifiers. Keep in mind that permit progressing saving is then turned off. Uh, progression saving is then turned off. I think. To activate a cheat, open the pause menu, go to the Abstergo challenges section, and select the cheats option in the list. Very nice. And we did the optional objectives. And there is a fragment that is not... Okay, it wasn't shown on the minimap, that's weird. While we're here, since it's just a small little island, Oh, okay. Uh, I will do this and get some um, fragments. Am I gonna climb up? Oh. And yes, there are viewpoints uh, on islands, just so that we can see where some chests may be, or some bottles. And now you can see, oh, and a treasure map, so that's going to be very, very cool. I love getting treasure maps and uh, locating where they are. That's why I like playing Sea of Thieves, because you'll get treasure maps. So there's palm trees right there and a big rock. 
So the east side is going to be a boulder in the water. Okay. Okay, so that's the east side. Wait, do we have a compass? How do we know? Okay, well, I guess I can just look at the new map. So this side is north that I'm running to, and the uh, east side. Wait. No, that's west. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. East is over here. West is right there. Oh, it tells you on the uh, cursor right here, the latitude and longitude. Oh, okay. So yeah, this isn't even the right island. Oh, that sucks. We're going to have to like keep going. Like, when we find a treasure map, we're going to have to sail over there. I thought it was going to be like, you find a treasure map on the island, and uh, you go to where that island, or not island, but that area is. Like how it was on the first treasure map that we had. I thought it was going to be like that, so. Hold on. But, message in a bottle. But now we've done everything here. Um, one thing I do want to check out first. I don't know if we're going to already go ahead and get it. Oh, we can't. We can't go into the captain's quarters just yet. Okay, never mind. Wait, it says we need a sail there, but we already did. Oh... I have to get two Ocelot skins. Craft a new holster and craft uh, a health upgrade. Crafting, that would probably help. Pistol holster 2 and health upgrade. Alright, so uh, when you are going into crafting, uh, you can see the required uh, stuff you need, like humpback whale skin for pistol holster 3. Uh, it'll just it'll tell you like what you need, how much of it you need. Um, and how much you have. Uh, and it'll also tell you if you need to progress further in order to do that. But now we have pistol holster two. You can carry one more gun. So now we have three. So that's pretty nice. So that's a nice little introduction to crafting. Hey, Captain, find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Yeah, 100% memory saying. Um, and this is just showing you that you can do multiple pistols. Um, so... This is going to be very nice. So whenever you go into an area where you're fighting guards or whoever you're fighting, that area where they're highlighted, you can press Y and he'll just quickly just boom, 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 boom. Just whatever's highlighted and however many uh, pistols you have. Um, 
that are filled with ammo as well. Uh, um, and like it says right here, it does the shots do less damage, but it interrupts attacks. Um, I don't know. I know right now, if you were to do it with your uh beginner pistols, they wouldn't really do anything at all. Um, but I don't know this for sure. But I'm sure if you have like uh very high damaging pistols, uh, I'm sure you could like do one shots on them. I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. But we will have to see about that when we get there. So it's just a nice little fighting thing we can do. <laughs> or rank 41 million. If that if I read that right, I probably didn't read that right. It's probably four million. Captain Queer Nobs, tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy, oh, back to your master. Aye, we was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. I love this game. It's so funny. Alright, um... As you can see on the bottom, crocodile, rabbit, and uh, I think that was a pig. I, I couldn't see it real quick. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be talking to this people that we just saw. Actually, let me see how long we've been recording. All right, well, we've been recording for well over an hour. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, I think I feel like we did a, a good bit of stuff on this episode. We got our ship that's the important part and so now we can be a pirate uh so yeah that'll about do it uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one